or drop ball. I, I have them do this lead up every single day. All of my pitchers, every single day they throw a drop ball. Don't worry, there's going to be video, so you don't have to write all that down. Um, I have them do this whole entire lead up every single day from the open position. From the open position, all they're focused on is the slot of their arm and their wrist snap and where it's supposed to be. All right, so I have my pitcher start at the wrist snap position. Notice on both sides of the plate are cones. And that's just sort of, oh, go back, go back. That's sort of her visual aid. I want to play that. That's sort of her visual aid. So if it goes to the right of the cone, your left, if it goes to the right of the cone, it means that her arm got away from her body. Her wrist got away from her body. See me over there? If it goes to the left of the cone, it means she came over too far. So all we're working on right now is getting our forefinger over the ball. The next, I'll just have her back up. And this is called 9 o'clock. So 9 o'clock on your wall clock. I'll just have her start there and roll it through the cones. Once again, if it goes to the right of the cones, her arm got away from her body. If it goes to the left of the cones, it means her glove hand went and her arm followed it. So it's really, really simple. They're not going 100%. All they're working on is keeping their glove hand in, being skinny, being tall, and working on staying in line. And you don't have to do 100 at each spot. You just have to feel good about it to move on. Then I'll have her back up from the K. Same thing. Now I'm kind of speeding it up because I've added another little bit of emotion. She can step into this a little bit. It makes it a little more challenging. But I'm giving her a whole tunnel to go through so she can really work on keeping her whole body in line through that tunnel. Then the next phase of that is all the way around, make it there. This is a really, really easy thing to see. The telltale sign is if it goes too far inside, either her glove hand went and she went away from her body, or she just plain and simply just went away from her body. If it goes too far to this side, her glove hand went and she followed it, or she just held on to it too long. Then I'll have her move just to the inside drop ball. It's the exact same mechanics. 